Okay, here is probably the most contentious uh, perspective of education. I would say that think about education from a funding perspective, right? Uh, as uh, I, I, I will try to keep telling you that passion and all those things, they are quite generic constructs. They have been diluted by the internet a lot. So let's keep them aside. Focus on education as a tool of building a source of income and a career. Let's look at it in a very objective and dispassionate way. So uh, let's take an example, someone like me, who was born in a third world country and whose parents were uh, having a middle class income. Now, the notion of middle class when I was born and the notion of middle class today has diluted a lot. But I will simplify it for you in terms of saying that uh, we, I come from a family where uh, buying the necessities was never a problem, but everything I wanted couldn't be purchased. So uh, uh, in a very simple example, like every toy I could see in the store, I couldn't buy it. Right. So I had a limited range of toys. So when it came to necessities, my parents ensured that we got everything. They worked hard for it. But when it comes to luxuries, we had to compromise. That's what I define as middle class. Now, when I had to apply for my master's, I had to raise funding. I had to take an education loan for which the collateral was my parents' house. Right. And that's where I had to actually, when I had to come back from the US, that was one of the factors that if I continue to take risks, if I go to California and spend out whatever earnings I had uh, accumulated through my research assistantship and other things, I would be risking that collateral being uh, taken up by the bank if I can I cannot repay that money right so it, it purely became a funding problem this is something which even startups go through where they have a liquidity problem that the product is not selling but they have raised enough funds and the investors are asking for returns so then they have to make certain hard decisions so look at post graduation especially from a funding perspective I raised funding for my own applications that's why I had to work two years in the industry now it cost me on the academic front. That's a different uh, story. So if I were to do things again, then it would be a different set of decisions because now I have the hindsight uh, bias or rather the wisdom from hindsight. And that's what I'm passing on to you. You don't have to make the same mistakes that I did. Ideally, you shouldn't make any mistakes, but at least make your own mistakes. Don't repeat my mistakes. So that's why I'm saying think about Education from a funding perspective, that you are investing time, how much money you are investing, what is the worst case scenario, right? And even when it comes to research labs, your professors, your mentors are raising funds on your behalf. They just don't make it visible to you. When universities give you a research assistantship or something, they have raised funds from someone, right? There are companies who find it easier to fund a university for certain experiment compared to uh, finding an employee to whom they have to pay certain benefits, they have to pay their insurance and all those things. A research assistant is much cheaper for a project that might fail. You have to think from a funding perspective. Remember, education has become a business. You have to look at it from that perspective. And there is nothing wrong in it. Trust me, money is a necessity in the society. It is not about greed. Greed is when you want something more than you need. But to get to the point of necessities, money is the actual uh, conduit or the medium which the society has chosen. We cannot change it. That's not the revolution which I'm trying to sell you. What I'm trying to convince you is that sometimes not doing a post-graduation immediately is a far saner decision. So instead of doing a post-graduation uh, following the uh, general sentiment might not be something which you should do because you are risking your parents' retirement fund. So be considerate about the funding aspects in education. And trust me, research is almost like running a business. It is very similar when you look at the practicalities of its interaction with the real world. There is a small segment where you generate knowledge, you deal with a lot of cutting edge technologies, but it is bound to funding. So please try to be practical and understand things from a funding perspective. Don't confuse it with greed. That is just business.